Hello and thanks for watching this video on offsetting AP and AR documents. So many times we get documents, maybe it's a credit from a vendor, or maybe it's a credit we're giving a customer, and we want to offset it against existing invoices. So let's get started. We'll go into payables and let's create a new bill. So we'll select, give it a bill number, we'll select our vendor. give it an amount, take it off hold and release it. Now we'll also go into debit adjustment and we'll give it a document number, maybe it's a credit number from the vendor, we'll select the vendor's name, same vendor, give it an amount, in this case we'll make it $200 and take it off hold and release it. So in order to offset this, there's two different ways. If we need to cut a check to the vendor, maybe for the balance of that invoice, there's $300 invoice balance, or we have a check that we need to get out the door for other invoices, we can click new payment and we can select our vendor and we can choose our invoice we're offsetting, so that would be this one. And then we could also select a debit adjustment here by changing the type. We can find our $200. And now we're paying the balance, the $300. But in this case, what we're going to do is something a little bit different. We're still going to use the checks and payments, but we're going to change this to debit adjustment. So when we do that, we select our debit adjustment, the one we just created, and scroll over to the right if you need more fields. Then down here, we select the bill to offset. So if we select our most recent, here's our new bill, and we're applying $200 against it, and we can release it. So now after we're done, a couple of things. First off, if we go to application history, we can see the bill that this debit adjustment was applied to. We open up the bill, we can see the debit adjustment that was applied to this as well. In this case, it looks like there's two debit adjustments that cleared out the balance for this invoice. The other thing you could do is vendor details is very helpful. We bring up the vendor. We can now see that the debit adjustment is cleared out. And if we click show all documents, you can see these documents are behind, but they're closed now with a closed status because they've been applied. So let's shift over to accounts receivable. Let's go into and create a new invoice. Give it an amount and release it. Now, if we needed to create a credit, maybe there was an overcharge or something along those lines. So we'll come down here and we'll pick the same customer and we'll give it an amount. Now, notice I'm not picking an inventory ID. Uh, we are an AR, so this would be a non-stock inventory ID. We don't do anything with inventory in AR. And the sales account is here with this amount. So without the inventory ID, we're good. So we'll release this. Now again, if we want to apply this, we can go into new payment. Uh, before we do that, let's just take a look at the customer details. So you can see the credit memo and you can see the invoice. So here, the same thing applies, just like in AP, we can choose credit memo, select the credit memo, and then select the invoice we want to apply it to. So we'll sort by descending, that's the invoice we just created. We're applying $200, we'll release it, and if we go back to customer details and refresh, we now see the credit memo is going away, and the invoice we created now has a $300 balance on it, 
less the $200 we applied from the credit memo. So that's it. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. Our contact information is at the end of the video. Thanks so much for watching.